Hey, I'm finna do a reading on P. Diddy. <sighs> it's really the only shit that people really care about, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's fun to me or whatever. Like, I like doing readings and revealing shit and whatnot. Speaking the truth, I like that. I just don't see no point in it now and stuff. Like yesterday, I went into a meditative state. It was, I was put into that state by the universe. I'm talking about for eight hours. For eight hours, I laid still with my eyes closed and I was in a deep meditative state and I was not sleeping. I was not asleep. And um, it didn't feel like eight hours. When I got out of the meditative state, it was three o'clock in the morning, you know. So, but when I, like, I, I woke up with new eyes. And, you know, I be up here talking like, you know. This is my purpose and stuff to help heal people and shit like that. And that ain't even what people really want. They don't want to be healed. They want to be saved. Motherfuckers want to be saved. So we get caught up in all these fucking illusions. Like it's just one YouTube channel and they talk about ships showing up in the night sky and we being taken off to somewhere to paradise and stuff. Nah, you have to create that shit. And people is sitting here praying on their motherfucking knees. All the fucking tarot readers are infected with uh, not even believing in their inner God. They believe in some type of external uh, force. Jesus or God or something is going to come and save them. Or make things better for them. You know. Giving all these readings on a motherfucker. On a, a twin flame or some shit like that. Or a ex that y'all broke up eight years ago. But you still in love with this motherfucker. You can't let them go. And you up here. Listening to a tarot reader every motherfucking day. Selling you this motherfucking hope. That this motherfucker love you. And they coming to get you. And they preparing shit for you. And everything going to be beautiful. And y'all going to go live happily ever after. Man, hell motherfucking no. Nah. Okay? Like, I believe I have a twin. And, you know, I be talking to his ass like he's stupid. Because I don't know what his reasons for acting the way he acting. Yeah, I know some of them. I ain't going to sit here in front. But they all illusions and they all stupid. Motherfucker just trapped in his own fears. And I don't got motherfucking time to sit here uh, listening to some. I get aggravated with that shit. I be ready to slap a motherfucker coming to me, selling me motherfucking hope. Don't you come to my motherfucking door, selling me motherfucking religion, motherfucking hope. Don't be coming on my computer screen with that bullshit. Like, no. I don't give a fuck, man. I'm not, I can't even stomach listening to that shit, man. That's why I'm so proactive. I say how I feel. I'm direct. It ain't no secret with me, okay? I don't keep motherfuckers in the dark. But motherfuckers always keeping motherfuckers in the dark. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I be talking to my twin like you just a dumb motherfucker, okay? And I don't do that to make them feel bad or to push them into making a decision or something like that. No, I don't do that. I say it because it's the truth at that time. You know, I've been a dumb motherfucker or whatever, but I don't have, I'm not trying to uh be hopeful about this world this planet okay the only thing that i was hopeful in is the people like damn maybe if i help heal enough people help raise the vibration 
then finally we will have enough woke people that we could break out of this illusion because you know motherfuckers be talking shit but then they still go to work the next day or whatever like it ain't gonna just be enough for me to not go to work refuse to go to work and until the conditions are better or something like that or shit fuck it like if people just stop if we was to get together and we all just refuse to do shit that we don't want to do, then we could, that's the only way that we could make real change. But I see clearly now that no, it's too many dead people and they are too terrified to wake up. They too lost in fear. And these be the so-called woke motherfuckers. They be scared. They living in fear. They out here and they be the main one giving advice and shit like that. And people eat that advice up. They eat that shit up. And these motherfuckers um, just selling. They just regurgitating shit that they heard. Like a motherfucker like Dolo. I know he was stealing shit from, from Bobby Hammond. But he come to you and sell that shit to you because we are a younger generation and a lot of us don't even know who Bobby Hemmett is. I didn't know who Bobby Hemmett was for a while. But I'm hearing Bobby Hemmett words through this motherfucker mouth. And for a moment, I was impressed. Until I see this nigga start to crack, you know, I be like, damn, you a, a broke, crazy ass motherfucker. And then... It went into, damn, I, I seen right through him, like, oh, nah, he a fucking agent. He ain't just broken. He ain't just hurt. He's selfish. He don't give a fuck about these souls. Like, he want us to be oppressed so that he could be exalted. You have a motherfucker like me, and I don't treat people like that. You don't have me coming on here naming my audience you know naming my followers and whatnot trying to gain followers nah when motherfuckers come and get a healing session from me the way that i talk to them is i give you the tools to heal your motherfucking self i don't want you to follow me i don't want you to depend on me for your healing and wisdom okay i don't want that shit so I teach motherfuckers how to be dependent on their motherfucker selves. But motherfuckers don't like that. Motherfuckers just want you to save them. Motherfuckers just want you to make them feel better. They don't want you to give them the tools because they don't have no faith in them in themselves. They don't have no faith that they could heal themselves. They don't believe in their inner God. They ain't connected. I, mean, I just be like, man, what the fuck? I just had to come and see it for my motherfucking self. I just had to come and see it for myself. And now I see. I see. That's the only way change is going to occur. If people wake up. And they make the change themselves. But nah, people's not doing that. People are literally waiting for something to come and save them. They don't understand that Jesus is within them. They don't understand that God is within them. They don't get that. And even if, like they go to a, a Bobby Hammond sermon or they hear me speak or something like that, even if they mental come to that awareness, they can't feel it in their spirit. It can't penetrate deep enough because everywhere we look, there's a trap. There's an illusion being projected on us. And people cannot see through the illusion. I'm tired, man. I can't do this shit, man. I can't be down here with y'all. And then y'all won't even appreciate a motherfucker like me. 
Hell motherfucking no. Nah. I know what I am. And I'm not for the uh speak that because you know it too. But whatever I represent, a motherfucker, y'all motherfuckers can't accept that inside of your motherfucking self. So how you treat me is how you treat that part of yourself. And I have seen, I saw, I came and I saw that, you know, it's too late. You know, it's like, what are, what, what are we trying to do? What are we trying to do? I believe that at some point we had a lot of highly spiritual beings coming down here and they're trying to wake up the, the masses so we can heighten the vibration of this planet. Instead of just giving it away to them, you know. But, you know, a lot of us, we have already escaped this realm. Like, I have a home outside of this realm, outside of this earth, and I be longing for it because the conditions here is so bad. I feel like I'm in jail while I'm here. So I long for home, I long for freedom. And I came here to hopefully bring that here. But now I see that it's too late, man. People are far too gone. And yeah, you know, we incarnated with our twins because we are supposed to get together and make change and stuff. But see, as you could see, with all these uh, twin flame videos and shit like that, like the internet, YouTube, or whatever, the tarot community is infested with that shit. They ain't coming together. The twins are not combining, and they're not doing their purpose, okay? Uh... What they have put in place, whatever system they put in place to keep twins apart is very effective. Very, 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 very effective. It's multiple layers to this shit. First, they traumatize you. Like, they put you in a situation because they understand how it is when you connect with a twin. So before you even get to that point of connecting, they want to make sure that you are Program in a way that you be afraid to connect. Like, for instance, y'all know, I believe you not my twin. I know you my twin with your stupid ass. But see, look, before we came into the realization of each other, they had put us in situations that, like, I even said it one time. I was like, man, it's hard for me to not put you in the boat of these other motherfuckers because you acting just like them. You know? And I know that he had the same experience. I know that he had a similar experience. Like, he could be afraid to get played or something or to fall for something, you know? Wrapped up in, like, his ego and whatnot. But they do that shit on purpose. And they put you in so many uh, fears, so many traps that you just can't fathom releasing yourself. So, and you can't, like, I'm not for to sit here. I'm not going to force nobody to do shit. Okay, I'm not going to force people to wake up. I'm not going to scream and holler for y'all to wake up. I'm not even like, I'm to the point where it's like, man, it is what it is. It is what it is. Y'all want to be lost and dumb and shit like that. And, you know, I was talking to somebody, you know. Okay, for instance, the person that I healed. And they got off of their medication. And for a long time, um... 
they was doing so good on their medication. They had more energy. They felt good. Their mind was clear and everything. They sent somebody to this person. And all this person said to them is like, is you taking your medication? And instantly they fell into fear. And they went back onto their medication. And you know what they said to me? They said, you're not a doctor. Like, you don't have no degree. That's what they said to me. And I was just like, now this happened, you know, some time ago or whatever. And I'm just shaking my head because that's how deep the programming is. Like, you don't even listen to your own body. You don't even listen. You don't even, you don't even have faith in your own body. You got faith and more, you got more faith in these fake ass doctors that you know trying to kill you than you do your own motherfucking body. All just because a motherfucker came along and asked you, was you taking your medication? That's like ridiculous to me. And I was like, man, what's the point, man? Because, you know, motherfuckers, they come to you for healing, and then you heal them. They go back into the world and get uh, reprogrammed and fall back into fear, and then they turn around and demonize your ass. It's deeper. You know, I don't give a fuck about these numbers and stuff like that, but, you know, it's 700 people, 700 subscribers here on this channel. And majority of them don't give a fuck about me. And it's not that, see, and then, you know, I get frustrated because when I start to speak up for myself, people start projecting shit on me or a motherfucker come along in my comments or some shit and they make it seem like um, I'm desperate for attention or, you know, I'm mad because I'm not getting the same attention as other people. Nah, I know myself. You can't change the way I feel about myself, okay? I know what I have inside of me. I know the power of my voice. I know the power of my spirit. I know the power of my soul. So if you was, if you did come across my energy, motherfuckers will come across my energy and then demonize it. And that's because that's how they feel about themselves. I'm too much of a trigger to motherfuckers. Something that they are not ready for. And this is not no shit that, oh, it's before your time. That shit don't even, that's not even real. The only reason that we feel like that is because when people of light have came here, they did the same shit to them. They suppressed them, oppressed them, turned people away from them. And then after they died, then they stole all their shit, put it in their books, integrated it into their programming, because they know that you're the truth. And they know that to get other people to believe some shit, all they have to do is implement a little bit of truth. So they take your energy and they memorialize it in the way that they want people to see it. And they use your energy to inspire people, to motivate people, to be a motherfucking slave. When that was never what you was representing. But that's how they do motherfuckers like me when they come here. That's how they do. And you know, I know that. I do. But it's like the people that you are dealing with are dead. There was a time, you know, I came here a lot of times. And every time I came here, I did have a big impact. 
but there was a time that I came here and even though they did all these games, I still, uh, people were still close enough to their divinity that just being in my presence and meeting me and hearing my voice was enough to wake them up, okay? And once they was woke, you could not blind them again. But it's different now. It's different now. Especially with the technology and shit like that. You know, you just looking at me. Like, they have a way. I'm putting out my voice here. And even if you subscribe to me, my video still won't come up for you or something like that. All right, if my video do come up, they project images around it. You know, how on YouTube... You have all this other shit around the video, all these other words, these other colors. Then when you click on the video, the advertisement that is on it, it all has an effect on you. So before you even click on my video, you already have a perception of me. So you filtering me through that so you can't even really see me. They also made it where, you know, people will come to me, well, well, why don't you do something? Instead of being on the internet, you got to do shit in real life. Motherfuckers, just dealing with y'all motherfuckers who is telling me that is why I don't want to do that. Because y'all not seeing, you know? So even if I was to get together a crowd of people, why? All they going to do is send somebody a fake ass bot to come in there and start spreading rumors and shit like that. Start poisoning the water. And motherfuckers are so weak. That shit gonna work. Next thing you know, uh, a motherfucker is gonna be literally stabbing me in the back with a real motherfucking knife. So what the fuck, man? It ain't, sh it ain't shit that could be done here. This is a dead planet, you know? They got it so confusing that they have all this false, false spirituality out there and people just eat that shit up. They eat that shit up, you know? A motherfucker will go and give a fake motherfucker their money before they would give a real motherfucker their money. And that's because the way that they program people, they don't believe in themselves. They insecure. They lost. So what I'm fighting for, you get what I'm saying? Like I'm up here talking about, oh, I'm here. I'm trying to heal people and stuff like that. Heal people. They made that shit like impossible. And then motherfuckers, um... Like, the only way to free yourself out of this motherfucker is so demonized, you know. You go around people, you start talking like I'm talking. You know, I don't want to be here no more, man. I'm just for the log out. Motherfuckers might put you in a mental institution. Motherfuckers going to start preaching to you how it's a sin and, and you should be afraid to go to hell when you in motherfucking hell. They don't understand, bruh. They don't understand when they talking like that to me. It, it, I, I wish I could just pull out a gun right now and just blow my brains out. Right there in that motherfucking moment. That's how sickening it is. Nigga, get the fuck out of my face. Okay? What you want me to do? Sit here and just remain a slave? Struggle for every motherfucking thing? Deal with these toxic ass people. Are you insane? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you?
And I'm talking like this and people are looking at me like it's something wrong with me. I just can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. Like they not only or they talk behind your back. It's like they were you be real as fuck with them. Like you open up and you reveal your soul to these motherfuckers. And they go and they project how they feel about themselves onto you. Yeah, she talking about killing herself, child. I guess she ain't so blessed like she thinks she is. I guess she ain't so great like she thinks she is. Nah, bitch, I still think I'm that bitch, okay? I still know that I'm blessed, highly favored by the universe. I still, I still feel that way. I still feel good about myself, you know? That's one thing that y'all cannot kill inside of me, okay? I'm way too connected to my soul. I just look at y'all like y'all crazy. Like y'all lost. And I dare a motherfucker to convince me otherwise. Because all they're going to do is give you some shit that the oppressor gave to them to argue with you. Hold on, I'm hot. And you know, they say that shit like it's it's like concrete truth and shit like that. But I'm looking at this motherfucker and being like, nigga, you ain't even happy. But they they feel like they so deeply programmed. They should they feel like they should just it's not happiness. They not even looking for that shit. So they praying and doing all this shit for what? For a promise of a afterlife of heaven. That's what they're looking for. <laughs> Are they afraid to go to hell while in hell? You know what I'm saying? That's how crazy it is. So it's like, what's the fucking point? You know, what's the fucking point? So, yo, I'm not going to be here for too much longer. And, um, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful, you know. I came and I saw. So in the meantime, you know, I guess I just go ahead and do what I can. I ain't doing it to help people. I, I'm past that, you know. If you want to get the energy healing and shit like that, come on. You better get it before, you know, I head the fuck out, you know. Um, But, you know, it's like, and when I go, I do not want to be memorialized. Like, I'm going to take my energy and make it where, you know, um, that part in y'all that I represent, y'all won't even be able to access that. Like, I don't want to be uh, remembered in the way that y'all perceive things. I might not be able to erase my memory from the people that have deep feelings for me and everything, but it's going to be like when these motherfuckers talk about me to other people. Or oh, y'all remember Onyx? Y'all remember Christina? Motherfuckers gonna be completely confused, even if they even seen one of my videos before. And I'm gonna make this shit disappear, okay? All these videos and whatnot, I'm gonna make this shit disappear, you know, because I do not. Like, it's already too late. I already see it. Like, I literally would say something and the, and the shit would echo back to me because I would say something and then I would start hearing everybody else saying that shit. And I'd be like, what the fuck? At first, I thought other things like, is these people like watching me or something like that? And they could be, you know, but these be like people in the industry and shit like that. Like, 
you know, on my Patreon, I've been talking about leaving this motherfucker. And I came across somebody today and they was like, yeah, man, I'm I'm thinking about leaving this planet, man. Uh, make sure you buy these tickets because I'm about to leave this planet, man, because I don't think I could do it. They talking just like me, man. But they not doing it for the, they not talking from their soul. It's like they give my energy to people so that they could gravitate what my energy naturally uh, inspire people make people feel something deeper but they taking my energy giving it to these celebrities so that they could garnish that same energy from people but because these celebrities are in control and utilized by the oppressors like it just recirculate back into them you know while i'm saying shit to set you free they using my energy to trap your ass. You know? I can't fucking stand this place. I hate it with a passion. Now, it was just a system. But now, it's like the people. It's the people, man. The people are... It's a lost cause. It's a lost cause, man. And it's some dude, I'm seeing you. You, It's a light-skinned dude, and he be watching me sometimes. You might even be gay. But this motherfucker like to watch me, but they don't like me for whatever reason. Like, I'm saying what I'm saying, and they saying, go ahead and kill yourself then, bitch. You know, they looking at me like I'm trying to get... um sympathy for people so that they could go and buy my shit or something that's how they looking at me yeah nigga i see you all right i see you so a motherfucker would just literally refuse to see your heart but they want the tea though they want to hear about this pdd shit you know they like it they like how i read because i go deeper I'm not afraid to go deep. And then, you know, I up here and I was talking about, you know, these motherfuckers literally putting me through all this shit, trying to take me out. And I'm saying it's because I'm saying some truth, some real shit, revealing some real shit. Then the next day, I would see a whole bunch of terror readers saying the same shit. Yo, they trying to take me out because I'm revealing the truth. What fucking truth, yo? What the fuck is you talking about? These motherfuckers literally be sitting here telling us that, yeah, they are siphoning our energy. Yeah, gang stalking is real. Man, I'm tired of hearing about that shit. I know these motherfuckers out here doing the most. The truth that I'm revealing is not the same of what you doing. Motherfuckers be too afraid to even go into that area. It ain't the fucking same. It's not the same. And then, uh, if they go go into an area that is hella dark, you know, they get scared. Oh, I don't want to. No, this energy too dark. I'm finna pull out of this, y'all. You know, they be fucking scared, you know? And I know some of these motherfuckers watch me and they get inspired by me and then they will do the same shit to me that everybody else do to me. Keep me in the fucking shadows. That's how I know I cannot trust y'all motherfucker. That's how I know that the light do not dwell in y'all. That that light of truth do not dwell in y'all motherfuckers. Even though y'all lying to yourselves and think that it is. These motherfuckers are scared to truly be like me. But you want to project that on yourself? You can't. 
motherfuckers can't be in my shoes and handle the shit that I had handled. You be too fucking scared. You be too fucking scared if a motherfucker, you find a motherfucker hiding behind your car. Motherfuckers shining lights in your motherfucking windows. Motherfuckers coming up to your door and ski masses. Motherfuckers stealing your, your mail and leaving juju bags in front of your door. You be too fucking scared, yo, to put yourself in my shoes. And I'll be like, man, if you motherfuckers be scared to support you, that's how fucking cowardly they is. Y'all make me sick. That shit is over, man. Because there was a time I had too much compassion. So I'd be like, you know, I understand why people uh, won't stand up with me. I understand why people ain't fighters like me and everything. You know, I understand why they're afraid. Man, I'm being too fucking understanding. Yeah, I can't get that shit in return. I'm just giving it, giving it, giving it a motherfucker. And these motherfuckers, you know, like, And watch. When I leave this motherfucker. This one memory I want y'all to keep. This one memory I want y'all to keep. Because when I leave this motherfucker. I want y'all to pay attention. What starts to happen. Okay. Y'all think y'all living in hell now. Child please. Just like what happened to those apartments. And this ain't the first time that shit happened. When I left a place that I used to live, the first apartment that I had, those motherfuckers ain't even there no more. After I had left, they bulldozed those motherfuckers down. They ain't even there no more. Okay? And I want y'all, y'all go see, y'all go see how these apartments that I used to live at, what was their names? Damn, bitch. I don't forgot their fucking names. That's why I'm saying I think that they might be getting ready to build those 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 places too. Hunter's Creek. They don't cut the grass no more. Nobody be outside. It literally feel like death when I'm walking in that motherfucker. And I ain't giving nobody the time frame, okay? I ain't giving nobody the time frame. Shit. Y'all don't understand, like, what these people are planning to do. Y'all don't get that, you know? And all they trying to do is get, they know that powerful beings have incarnated at this time. And that's that's all they've been trying to do. They can't take us out, so they've been trying to get the, get us to take ourselves out. And they've been doing a great job, you know? They've been doing a great job. But it's not even really them. See, the type of beings that we are, we could come down here and endure a lot of suffering, okay? 
shit, a lot of us, you know, it ain't nothing. Like, it ain't nothing. We don't been through a lot of shit in our lives collectively, you know? But it's the people. It's the people, man. It's not the system that is making us take ourselves out. It's how lost the people are. We lose hope and then waking up, we lose hope in that. So if they could um, just get rid of people like me, then they have free reign to make y'all in any type of slaves that they want to. Because just how energy being here causes change, okay? It causes like a certain type of mentality to it. That's why I'm hearing my words being echoed back to me. But what they do is as soon as you speak, the words that you speak, they take that energy and they taint it. They corrupt it. All right, man. P. Diddy, stupid ass with his dumb ass. What's going on with his ass? Because I don't think that he made them mad or something like that. Because P. Diddy is a good ass kisser. He loves kissing the asses, you know? You know? I feel like I, I'm looking at him now. He pleading for his life right now. Like, what, what can I do, man? What can I do? I did everything y'all asked me to do, so... Why are y'all trying to kill me now? Huh? What? Why are they trying to uh sacrifice Pit Diddy at this motherfucking time? For a motherfucking storyline? For a motherfucking storyline. That's why. See, the thing is that the oppressor, they doing a lot of shit right now. If you could, if you have eyes to see. <laughs> Um, and you like watch the news and everything, and it's a whole lot of shit that don't make no sense, but it's because they met there is to traumatize you, you know, if they could continue to traumatize you, just like in Cabin of the Woods, like those uh primordial beings that they was trying to keep asleep by feeding it all this trauma is motherfuckers like me, okay. That's why they made this new dark crystal and they canceled the show. Like they're not continuing it and everything. And they kind of left it at like a cliffhanger because the ski seas were still living. They lost the fight or whatever, but they ran back to their castle. And then after that, you ain't going to know what's going to happen. That's because they waiting. They waiting to see if they're going to win this war and shit like that. And you know what? These motherfuckers at this point, it's like they could have this shit because the people are way too lost. Okay, so that's why they doing this. That's why they sacrificing all these people. They still trying to do the ritual of lynching black people on the TV and everything so that you could feel a certain type of way. It puts you in a certain vibration or whatever. And they just trying to keep you distracted long enough until they kill off motherfuckers like me and to uh, we gone. And then once we are gone, then they be like, okay, we won. Now we could do what the fuck we want with these other people. <laughs> but y'all secretly feel like that's what y'all deserve, you know? Because even though, yeah, there's a lot of programming, manipulation, and everything like that, it's still your fault that you cannot connect with your divinity. It's still a choice that you are making. And I know that it's a hard one, but it's because these motherfuckers are controlled by fear. So it stopped them from making any choices. So, you know, if that's what y'all want, then 
that's what y'all could get. And y'all just going to have to reincarnate into this motherfucker over and over again until you get to a certain realization to be able to free yourself. But shit. They plan on upping up the amp, the empty or whatever you call it. They plan on um making their techniques even more solid and everything. So that's what I'm telling you. Like when, when we leave, this shit is just gonna be suffering upon suffering, but upon suffering, it's gonna turn into a damn. What you call it? A dictatorship, a, like a dictatorship, like government. They're gonna do that one world government type shit. Um, and it's gonna be deeper than. See, right now they have an illusion that you are free. They ain't going to need that anymore. And the only reason why they went that route to play these mental games with you to trick you into believing that uh, you have a sense of freedom. But, you know, when motherfuckers like me are gone, um they won't feel the need to do that anymore. Like, nah, you was just a slave, and that's it. If you go watch that Dark Crystal movies, the ones that they had uh, sold up their mouth shut and had them as the servants and everything, that's going to be y'all motherfuckers and everything. That's how they're going to be treating you, and they ain't going to give a fuck about brainwashing you or nothing like that. You're just going to be a slave. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's why they doing this shit with P. Diddy. It's something about the storyline. Uh, I guess I gotta cut on this other light. See, uh, what they doing is is that they wanna they revealing a lot of truths right now, but it's a tactic. You know, they still running off the illusion of making you believe that you are free in some type of way they even want you to believe that uh things are getting better and that they are losing they want you to believe that they want you to believe that you know the beings that came here to enlighten motherfuckers are actually winning and that's why they are um giving all this truth finally telling you uh, the true story and shit like that. They finally doing that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They finally doing that. And it's a tactic to because it makes you comfortable. It makes you believe that, oh, you don't have to fight no more. So the battle is already being won. And that just ain't the motherfucking truth, okay? That ain't the truth. We are not winning the battle. And it's because, you know, they have so many traps out there. And it gets you to believe, but it gets you to wait. It gets you to be complacent. Motherfuckers feel like all they have to do is just sit and wait. So people are thinking that, you know, their energy alone is making everything better. And that's why they telling the truth. They want us to, they want to make you believe that until the last of us is gone. We decide to abandon y'all motherfuckers. We decide to be like, there's nothing here to fight for. And that's what they're doing. See, manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. Facilitate spiritual commitment serves as a channel of spiritual energy. Yeah, I'm telling you. Because, you know, everybody know that P. Diddy killed that girl or had something to do with it. Everybody know that P. Diddy has something behind the Tupac and Biggie thing and whatnot. 
you know, everybody know that he's an agent, you know, a booty bandit. Everybody know that. But this whole time, the industry been protecting him because he doing deeds for them. But now they want to sacrifice him. So to show that, well, the industry can no longer protect him. But that's not the truth, though. They want you to fool you into believing that change is really occurring. And yeah, change is occurring. But we still in the middle of a spiritual war. And this is their way of fighting it. And from what I'm seeing, when it comes to the people, they are indeed winning. Man, um, and that's why they're doing this shit. Let's just get into how P. Diddy feeling about it, you know. Might as well, because he probably just scared and shit. He knew that one day he was going to get sacrificed, but he was hoping that he was going to be a whole lot older, you know. Oh, Lord have mercy. See? Y'all motherfuckers, y'all gonna have a motherfucker like Dolo crazy y'all, crazy ass uh, controlling y'all. <laughs> and that's fucking insane, yo. That's how bad it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be. Those the type of people that's going to be in leadership because those the type of people that y'all chose. Those the type of people that y'all exalted. Those the type of people that y'all gravitate to. A motherfucker that's going to treat you like shit. A motherfucker that's going to teach you to depend on them, to follow them, to get to salvation. A motherfucker that is never going to lead you into tapping into your own divinity. A motherfucker that's just going to lie and manipulate your ass and take from your ass and then make you feel like you should be expecting that. You should deserve that. And I'm telling you, when we are gone, when we are not here, that's how they're going to look at you. Like, motherfucker, you chose this. So don't complain when I'm telling you to get on your fucking knees and worship me. Don't you complain, you know? Like, you literally sat there and watched your inner God die. So how the fuck? You know, why should I respect you? You know, y'all motherfuckers ain't going to be able to get no sense of respect. None. And it's because you don't respect yourself, you know? Uh, let me, I'm going to reshuffle this because the Emperor card came out. Reverse. But I feel like that's because I was talking about Dolo as and these motherfuckers can't wait. They just waiting it out. These motherfuckers just waiting it out. And that's why they doing all the stuff that they doing, the spell work to hinder you, to hold you down, the gang stalking to try to frighten you because they really can't do shit to you and everything. That's why they doing all of that. Uh, They play games with you like the Peace Dealer. The Peace Dealer is just as bad as Dolo. Um... You know, they give you opportunities and then take it away at the last minute. It's because they want to make you feel low. They want to beat you down until you cannot take it no more. And like I said, beings like me, we could take a lot. But the people 
it's like what are we taking this for what are what are we fighting for you know but that's why they do those tactics they trying to wear you down they don't even really want to kill you because they want you to be here for as long as you could stomach so that so that they could continue to steal from you so they could continue to harvest from you and they regurgitate it back to the people and the people is going to follow them while they around being a false ass light wearing your essence but you know when we gone they ain't gonna be able to harvest on us anymore so eventually they just gonna be what they truly are and at that point y'all gonna be uh uh mad but shit what for when motherfuckers been sitting here telling you what that motherfucker is Hmm. When I made a video about crying and stuff, because I was on a, the brink of going homeless, it's like only one person that commented, maybe another one. And that person was a hater. It was that Glenda bitch. I don't forgot what you said, but I know that it was some um, fake nice shit, you know, because these motherfuckers always come to you. They always trying to get close to you and become your friend and shit like that. And then they become, they revert into the hater that they is when you're doing good, when you're coming into some type of enlightenment. So. So the people that really want the best for y'all, y'all don't give a fuck about those motherfuckers. Not even a little bit. Or y'all project some shit on them like, um, like, well, why are you asking for money if you just want to heal us and whatever, bitch, because I got to survive. What the fuck is you talking about? Like, they want all of this for nothing. And at some point, I believe that that's how it should be. That's why I don't ask for much. But then after I see that people just take from you and they turn around, and they will lie on you, call you a liar, spit in your motherfucking face, talk down on you, talk behind your motherfucking back. And then have the, the nerve to disrespect you. What the fuck? Hell, motherfucking no, man. And then you be in this, like, this tug of war with yourself, you know? Because that ain't the only solution is to get out of this motherfucker, you know? But people keep coming to you like it's something you doing wrong, you know? It's something wrong with you. So motherfuckers always coming to you with some stupid ass solution. Like, oh, well, if you if you did this to your videos, if you was to say this instead, if you did less of this, nah, why can't I just be myself? Huh? Everywhere I look, somebody is telling me to not be that. Man, if I can't be myself, man, then I don't want to be here. There's motherfuckers that do way less than me. They don't go as deep as me. They don't make you feel the way that I make you feel. But yet, you gravitate to that shit. 
that's what you want because motherfuckers want to be lied to. They want to feel safe and comfortable. Y'all an idiot. Because we in the middle of fucking war. What is you talking about? And it's really because they are afraid and they are cowards. But they project like it's something wrong with you. It's something that you're doing wrong when you're just speaking the truth. How people did it feel about this shit, y'all? So many cars, man. Come on. He thinking about getting into some type of relationship to try to rectify this. Like right now he trying to, uh, because, you know, Pitt Diddy with him being a Mason, just like Dolo is, um, they know a little more than what the average person know when it comes to like energy manipulation and shit or even the reason why they do all this shit, you know? So he currently in the process of trying to see how he can manipulate the energy um, in an energetic way, because that's how he, that's, he know that's how he going to fight this battle or win this battle, you know? Um, inability to make decisions, looking for an easy score, see? Our get rich quick scheme shows weak character and lack, man, and he willing to do any and everything. Um, there's something about being punished. Like he acts in like, and I feel like it's something like in England, like the the um the castle or whatever, like where the queen is. I hate even calling her that, but yeah, um. To get like a tone is what I'm hearing. Uh, he looking to get punished in a certain type of way to get a tone. Also, something in Dubai, like he's opening himself up to being like violated so he could rectify this because he also felt like he angered somebody but he didn't and that's the thing like the masons they stupid because they don't see how they being played they don't see how you know the power that they promise you that they say they're gonna give to you is not even real watch the dark crystal because that girl who um had her mom killed and she became like the next queen or whatever, it showed. Y'all should watch that. That's exactly how the Masons is with these people. Like people like Dolo, like he's so fucking retarded that he up here thinking like he up here itching, doing all this shit to destroy people's lives, to help these people to get he beings like me to leave this planet and shit he's helping them because they promise him like if you do this then we're gonna give you something we're gonna give you power we're gonna give you money and stuff but that's not you gonna always be a slave to them you're gonna always have to answer to them you never gonna have no real sense of power but the beings that you are torturing and trying to take off this planet, what they offering is something real. Something that's going to lead to real freedom. And you might not have a group of followers that's following you because they're going to be in tap, they're going to be in tune with their own divinity. So they're not going to follow you, but they will be willing to work with you. And that's how it's supposed to be. But nah, these motherfuckers so controlled by ego 
they want motherfuckers to bow down to them, to follow them, you know? But that shit gonna turn out to be miserable for them. So you helping them, but you leading yourself to your own demise. So yeah, he thinking that he upset at somebody. Yeah, he thinks somebody trying to get even with his ass. And they know that we in the middle of a war. Like, they know that. This is a judgment card. They know that we in the middle of judgment. So he kept trying to um, get answers. Like, whatever is happening, he felt like he must have upset somebody. He must have offended the wrong person. So he keep trying to call different people, talk to different people, because he sees something. It's more than just um them talking about reopening the case with his ex-wife and stuff like that. Or I was seeing something recently, I haven't watched it, but it was about his son and everything. He know the pattern. So he know that it's leading to him being sacrificed. And he trying to rectify that by being even more of an ass kisser. I mean, this motherfucker don't have no type of dignity, no type of respect for themselves. All he care about is that money and a fake sense of power. Uh, yeah, he's starting to also get like blackballed or something as well. Like he could have been trying to start a new business and people is like pulling out from him. You know how it is, because this energy, the oppressors, is a narc energy. So he's in the process of like the smear campaign. And you know how it is when you go through the smear campaign, everybody start to turn their back on you because they don't heard some shit about you. They don't got the balls to tell you what they heard. No, it's not the balls. They don't have, um, they, yeah. They cowards because even the ones who know that the shit might not be true or even if it's true and they know the real reason why this shit, these rumors are being spread, they ain't going to get caught up in it. They learn to just keep their mouth shut. They don't see nothing. They don't hear nothing or whatever because they don't want to be next. So, you know, and you know, a motherfucker like Pit Diddy, that's what you get. Because he don't did that to many people, you know, turn a blind eye or even help to sacrifice motherfuckers. He did that to many people. So now he having that done to him. But he feel like he got connects to higher ups. So he trying to call around and, you know, see what he could do to get out of this. He even thinking about sacrificing somebody. Patience is needed. Show mercy to others. Do not be harsh with them. Predicts violence, injustice, and equality. Legal complications. Like, you know what? Y'all might see P. Diddy do something really weird. Like, they, you might see him, like, on a commercial uh, for Viagra or something like that. <laughs> Um, he might even try to come out as openly gay to like try to get the support of the gay community or something or he might try to go get in a relationship with a dark-skinned woman to try to get the uh the attention and respect of like the black community So he trying to find a way out of this, you know. 
he also trying to find a reason why this is happening and it's because you know he just being sacrificed because they feel like this would be good for the story Uh, this would create the energy that they're trying to create in people. And they know this. They know this because you have even motherfuckers like me. Um, Because, you know, I'm different from where I was before yesterday. Okay. Um, Because there was a time that I thought that, yeah, we are winning the war. And that's why they... They don't have no choice but to tell the truth, but it's just a tactic. So somebody released a video about them reopening the case about his ex-wife, and I shared it on my community tab, and it was like, see, the energy is changing and everything. Like, that's how they want us to be. They don't have no choice but to tell the truth. They have a choice, but they using the truth as a tactic. To get you to believe that whatever you're doing, just sitting on your ass, whatever you're doing um, is making change. They want you to believe that. So that they make people believe that, no, you don't have to face your fears. No, you don't have to speak up for yourself. You don't have to tell the truth. You don't have to reveal the real truth. You don't have to do that shit. All you got to do is sit there and call yourself awakened. Call yourself enlightened. You know? And that's enough. Whatever you're doing by just sitting there, continue to go to work every day, um... Continue to be believe in this religion in the way that you believe in it. That's all you have to do. And by golly, the alien ship's going to come into the sky and they're going to beam you up and take you to paradise. Something is going to come and save you. That's why you keep hearing all these terror readers keep calling on Jesus. They don't even take ownership for their own divinity. They would say some shit like, um, this not even from, for me, you know, this is from God or something like that. They would give all credit, glory to this false ass God. They don't even take ownership of their own divinity. They be up there thinking, God, God saved me. God did this. God did that. They got motherfuckers right where they want them. That's what I'm saying. Man, y'all motherfuckers, y'all deserve. Because y'all, y'all, y'all can have that. Y'all can have that shit. I'm done with this reading. And I'm not saying stay blessed anymore. Y'all motherfuckers is not blessed. Okay? I don't know why the fuck I was even saying that shit. See... I was waking up, but before, like yesterday, before I went into that meditative state, I was lost in a, a lot of ways because I was still, I was still believing in something that is an illusion, you know? I was even getting caught up that, oh, real change is happening. No, no, the fuck is not. We are indeed losing, okay? And ain't shit gonna happen. Like, I feel like I'm wasting my motherfucking breath.
who that motherfucker was. Yeah. Because you got to be a fake ass agent or whatever. Uh, hold on. It's this motherfucker who be giving prophetic word and shit like that. And sometimes I would look at him because he funny to me. Like how he be licking his lips and stuff like that. How he be, you know, the way that he be licking it be funny as fuck to me. But, you know, I seen a video and he was talking about, you know, you need to stop listening to angels numbers. Uh, You need to stop dealing with terror readings because they confuse you and shit like that. Man, listen. Listen, man. So, and, you know, he started preaching. Started preaching and shit. And I was like, oh, yeah, you just fully an agent now, huh? Ain't you? Man, where this shit at, yo? Here you go. And then he going to sit here and make a video about seven signs witchcraft is attacking you. So you believe in fucking witchcraft, but you also make people afraid of it. So how you going to fight back? Oh, using their religion. See, I'm telling you, see, this the motherfuckers y'all deserve for real. These going to be y'all leaders. These, this, who... Come on, come on, what's his name? We the Chosen One Ministries. That's his name. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. I see, man. I had to see it for myself, man. It ain't never been this bad. It ain't never been this bad. Yeah, that's why they make it because I didn't get a chance to watch the other Dark Crystal, the one that was made in the 80s. Because they had it for free on YouTube at one point. And when I started to uh, make it known to people, they took it off. It's not free anymore. Now you got to pay for it. That's how they do. So I was, only, I was only able to watch the Netflix one. And in the Netflix one, they just stopped making it. It's because the story is not complete. But, you know, like when I'm not here and all the other motherfuckers, um, I want y'all to see they're going to they're going to bring Dark Crystal back. And then the skeezies are the ones that's going to win. Or they're going to make you believe that nah, the skeezies, the ones going to win in some way, in some type of way. I'm telling you, the movie's going to change. Yeah, they're going to give you the truth. It's because it don't matter anymore. They're going to make a movie about how the light ones, they came down here to help humanity, but humanity uh, help the oppressors destroy them. They're going to make a movie like that. Humanity rejected them because they reject themselves. 
they're gonna make movies like that. See, it's gonna be a whole different vibe, I'm telling you. I'm up here talking about stay blessed. We we ain't never blessed here. Never. Okay. Like we have the spiritual protection where they can't they can't do shit to us really. We have to do it to ourselves. We have to sacrifice ourselves. Because we have strength in the spiritual. But when it comes to this material 3D world, they control it. They run it. That's why the real people with light are with awareness. Not just light, but darkness. And y'all don't understand how y'all need that darkness. And they got y'all motherfuckers afraid of it. So y'all can't even tap into it. That's why they got you lost in this love and light shit. They won't, you won't even allow your inner beast to be awakened. Cause y'all motherfuckers are afraid. I could see it, man. I could see how fucked up this shit is going to be. But I can't find it in me to still fight to make a a difference. You know? When motherfuckers can't even accept the truth, that's when... I can see that shit. And y'all motherfuckers gonna be so traumatized. Y'all gonna be on y'all knees sucking God dick for eons. Eons, eons, and eons. y'all think it's bad y'all think it's bad now and shit like that with these vaccines and shit like that it ain't gonna be nothing in comparison you know once the divine ones are gone everything of divinity is gonna go with it <laughs> 